So last time, if you remember, we jumped on a helicopter right as we passed out from some kind of poison. And now they took us to another cruise ship. That's right. They actually resurrected the Titanic. And that's what we're on right now. So how long are they planning to keep that guy in solitary alive? Beats me. Who is he anyway? That's Tekken's Nina Williams. <laughs> you awake? Yeah, what if the other person they caught was just another Tekken character? Morning. Uh, it was Kuma. Yeah. So, we have awoken in a prison somewhere, and we have to find all of our items. And so, as you can see, the enemies have gotten much more dangerous. They more frequently have weapons now. Like, guns. They're not very good at firing them, but, you know, like, in a, in a situation where you're dealing with multiple guys, they may catch you off guard. I just really like the idea of, like, uh, Nina doing, like, that badass, like, good morning, and then immediately getting the shit beaten out of her by four <laughs> yeah. guys just run again. Just immediately getting shot in the chest four times. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, so we're in like a new locale here now. I guess spoilers, this isn't another part of the cruise ship. And while the cruise ship was kind of like labyrinthine, you know, in a way, I feel like you could keep kind of it, it keep track of where everything was as you were exploring it. This is a much bigger locale that we're going to have to be dealing with, as you'll see in just a moment. I, my my, init my initial thought definitely was like, yeah, this is probably not the cruise ship anymore. But then I recall like, okay, well, sure, there was also the giant marble Mount Rushmore and all of that shit. So maybe. <laughs> yeah, it could be anything. I'm kind of surprised that it's not like I thought we'd stay on that cruise ship much longer. Yeah, I I would have gathered like the cruise ship would be most for the game and then we would have like a final area. Yeah, you go to a lab like a Resident Evil game. Yeah, and we're just doing that, you know, like a couple hours in. So we picked up a couple um, techniques that I think are kind of integral to uh, this game in a way that it's weird that it takes so long for you to unlock them. But the first one is like evasive maneuvers. Now when we're dodging, we can um, do throws on enemies. Mm-hmm. And we'll show off a bit more, but it really opens up your ability to fight because now it's not just like either dodging or attacking. You can kind of do, for lack of a better word, like combo strings. Yeah, in any of these kinds of brawler games, the dodge attack uh, equivalent of that game is usually always like completely integral to playing really well. Like my initial thought was like, you know, in the Yakuza games, the dodge attack is kind of one of the first ones you want to get because it just makes everything so much easier. Yeah. Really? I I kind of stopped using the dodge attack like a couple of games in. I've always felt like it was pretty decent to like get a like light stagger in which opens up things a little bit easier. Mhm. Mm and especially in a game like this where you're just like constantly bombarded with enemy groups, the the feeling that you can dodge out of the way of one attack and grab someone else in an attack is indispensable. Right. Mm -hmm. it, it opens up where the safe area is to dodge. Yeah. Anyways, great environmental storytelling here. So we opened up a prisoner journal and immediately know he's British because he says things like chap and bloody hell. Oh, so he deserved this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, whatever happened, he probably deserved it. Is it environmental storytelling or is it just storytelling? Um, I mean, you know, if you think about it, all storytelling is environmental because it happens in an environment. I think it's only environmental if it's written on a wall in blood. No, oh, I see. Oh, like Left for Dead. Mm-hmm. Well, we may see more of that later, so just keep it in mind. Okay. I mean, yeah, as you see, the just like the spaces are much more open in here she's alone in a way that um causes a problem probably for me specifically and maybe other players in general where it's just like the the camera angles and stuff just make it hard to kind of keep track of where you are i'm glad that they didn't like take your fancy spy equipment anywhere like secure they just have it in a room yeah and they didn't eat any of my meal kits it was really kind of them <laughs> mm-hmm 
Is this also like kind of a hub area in the same way that like the foyer was on the cruise ship? Um, this section, it's like, it's, I guess, the closest to a hub area. I would say that this is definitely blow, made into more like a, an interconnected smaller areas that all each have a hub. But this is our first hub, mm-hmm. as it were. So, like, this is a bit more of a linear area compared to the cruise ship. It, it's linear in progression, but as you unlock more, it is it, it's a much larger area than the than the cruise ship. I I, I love that this guy is like fucking reviewing this like torture prison. <laughs> yeah, this is yeah. He actually wrote this down to remember to put it on Yelp afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, um, two out of five. I complained about my 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 rations that I got, and they pulled off my fingernails. Thought yeah. that was a little extreme, and they didn't have any spaces for like me and my six other uh, prison friends to like sit anywhere. Do not come here if you like your fingers. <laughs> <laughs> no more injuries, but he still put down the date. <laughs> yeah. He wrote down that it was Christmas because he's like, oh, there's going to be something great. They're going to give me a present here in prison. <laughs> <laughs> they're giving me an extra ration of bread. Yeah, they're giving him his fingernails back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they kept him in a jar the whole time. Yeah, again, there's just a lot of extra space and a lot of just stuff hidden in it. Not just, like, story stuff, but here we get another melee belt. Getting a lot of these and not getting a lot of gun belts, I gotta say. Yeah, looking at, like, how dilapidated this, like, torture prison is, how does anybody even get tortured, like, around here? Like, how do you bring anybody to, like, any place without, like, worrying that shit is gonna fall in your head? Yeah, I feel like being here is sort of the torture enough, right? Like, given all of the, like, roof falling through, I just assume that, like, plenty of the inmates died just by, like, walking and, like, a piece of roof hit them in the head and killed them. Yeah, um, like, one of the soldiers got really bad, like, oh, there goes all our rats. <laughs> <laughs> what are we gonna eat now? Like, you're gonna taste, like, some CIA guy to get, like, all the information out of him, and just before he reveals it, the fucking roof collapses on his head. <laughs> yeah? Or, like, his chair breaks and he hits his head on the ground and just <laughs> dies. Yeah? Yeah, this place used to be a great torture prison. Now it's gall gone to pot. Yeah. Oh, yeah, five Michelin stars. <laughs> <laughs> they had they had the best gruel of any prison in international waters. Yeah. You know, they tortured you and it actually felt like they cared. These yeah, guys, yeah. if you go there now, it's like, uh, I don't know, what's your car's license plate say? Like, they don't care. They're not even writing it down. True yeah, professionals. Is- like, you know, you really feel comfortable and, like, well-treated when your torturer really knows how to make you wish for death. Yeah. Yeah, you, you set up your car at the valet and, you know, they just hit the emergency button when they need to find your car. Yeah. Yeah, and you know what, like... I love how affable they are. Like, you know, like, I just got my, like, nipple stays for 30 minutes, <laughs> and, like, afterwards I asked, like, how was the surface? That's beautiful. I, you know what? I, just out of the cell. I gave it five stars. <laughs> now at the new place, they just, uh, they show you the iPad, and, like, they make you put in a tip. Like, there's no just option for no tip. Fucking right. hate these guys. <laughs> Their menu is a QR code. Uh, yeah. The menu of tortures. According to HQ, the man behind the carnage on the Amphitrite. See, so yeah, getting out of that room has gotten us back in access with uh with Alan. He's letting us know that the other guy being held here is a scientist who might help. <laughs> he uploaded the YouTube short that we were talking about earlier of the exploding boat. Hmm. Oh wow! Information on Salacia. I'm going to scout around the outside of this facility. They're like acting like this is like a big moral thing. We're actually just doing it for the ad money. We're hoping to pull it out of him. <laughs> uh, Nina Williams. Like, I caused a thousand people's blindness. <laughs> <laughs> So here you can see, if they get 
If someone gets notified of you quick enough while you're doing the chokehold, they just break out of the chokehold. It's fucked up. So there's our first new They get new really move. embarrassed and they're like, Nina, stop it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Not while the others are looking. <laughs> there you saw our first new move. If we do a um, tactical leap over an enemy as a dodge, we can now like grab them with uh, uh, grab them during the jump and throw them forward. Okay. I like the zoom in on the brain. <laughs> it really lets you know, like, oh yeah, you you stop them from being able to use this. So that way's blocked off. We can't go there, but we will be back there later. What did the impact font impact font poster say? Uh, the, the it's just the Jack one, and it just says like enlist in the army. Oh, we saw that one before. Anyways, oh, man, I shouldn't have those. Man, man, remember when video games had mirrors in them? That was That's great. right. Yeah, and they meant something like killing a guy on the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> didn't even put up a fight. <laughs> Rest in peace, that guy died in his own shit. Anyways, we did it for a key. Burritos apparently just absolutely tank your health. You're on <laughs> yeah. death's door. Yeah, that's the real torture of this place. Yeah, we don't steal his thumbnail, but you, or like his uh, thumbprint, but you know he's white. It was just too spicy for him. Mm -hmm. That'd be so funny if we go through this dilapidated prison, but then we just find like a pristine Taco Bell inside of it. <laughs> yeah. So I think uh, we missed it before, but uh, in this new area, we also just have new thumbprints we need to get for different security measures. Our cruise ship ones don't mean anything here. Of course not. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Different Those security guys. Those guys worked on the cruise ship. <laughs> yeah, I, I, now that I got the um, evasion uh, attacks, I just like using them a lot, <laughs> just taking advantage of them. I kind of just envisioned Nina eventually getting just a massive collection of thumbprints you have to check on every single door, somehow having them on a, gi a gigantic ring like a janitor with an entire uh, seat of, uh, of keys for a building. <laughs> right, you've got the fingerprint like key ring and you just go through and it's like, no, this is also security level one, this is one, this is one. <laughs> I'll say it, I'm also going to take off a star from our review because of the lighting in here. It's awful. Oh, yeah. I'm taking one off for, like, the constant new metal bass chord they keep playing. <laughs> no, that's good. No, industrial metal is getting back in, you know. <laughs> yeah. Well, this place could use a little industry. <laughs> I like the completely, so like, weird silence. <laughs> So, welcome to the newest enemies that we're facing, the Tekken Force. Oh my God. So, um, they're fucking annoying. Uh, one, they have a long-range attack to throw kunai, and they also have a slide attack that you can't, like, block normally. It kind of gets under your the normal attacks, and so you just kind of have to, like, get out of the way or deal with it, which is much harder when there's a bunch of them. The more I looked at them, and especially once they got to the slide, my thought very much was just, okay, how Valdo do these guys get? <laughs> not not the entire way there, but kind of there. Yeah, they're like Voldo light. You know, when are we going to get, like, Soul Calibur's Ivy and Death by Degrees too? Do you think that would be the best Soul Calibur character to get a solo game? I feel like she is the the t the Nina Williams, like, right? The, the most, most popular, popular character, character yeah. ever. Yeah. The color scheme is also kind of the same, you know. Yeah. Huh? I, people know Ivy. I feel like if people are gonna be like that one Soul Calibur character, it's probably Ivy. You know, I can't refute that. I'm, I might say Yoshimitsu. Oh uh, yeah. I mean, but also Yoshimitsu is a Tekken character. Uh, that's right, since no both Yoshimitsus meet up. Oh my mm. god, that would Ooh. be the buddy cop where the Yoshimitsus have to work together. Uh, yeah. I would pay yeah. to see that. 
Okay, this is something I've actually been curious about. Are they the same Yoshimitsu? No, it's like a title. No. Yeah, oh, okay. I think it's like the Yoshimitsus are like a clan of ninjas. Okay. Anyways, um, that was great and all, Alan telling us where we need to go, but actually we need to go back into this room one more time because uh, more soldiers have spawned to fight. There's the intruder! And one of them has a, uh, one of them has a fingerprint we need to get. <laughs> You're oh obsessed. You need yeah. help. There we go. That was the other one. So if you just dodge out of the way and grab, you do like a cool, like, uh, you just like throw them backwards. It's really good. But, um, yeah, no, this is, they, they have a lot of these weird, um, thumbprints or fingerprints where you have to just go to a place that you've been and doesn't like provide anything in a certain time or else the like the enemy group just disappears oh my god men huh. stop becoming security guards we need construction <laughs> workers <laughs> <laughs> so like does gathering all the fingerprints actually give you anything or is it just to be a little creep uh, well, one, it's a little creep, but two, you get to open more of the lockers, which give you items. So it's like, it's another way if you're running, if you like use weapons a lot to gain more weapons or like stat items. It's not mm. strictly necessary in any way. Like all of the ones that are necessary will be placed in front of you. Yeah. Also, uh, Nina works her 23 in me and she's just trying to get all that information. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> Yeah, I, I definitely was kind of wondering, like, is the design philosophy really that they expect you to run around, not be able to get anywhere, then start backtracking everywhere to get the thing you need to get to get further again? Because that seemed com pretty poorly designed. Uh, that's PS2 game design. <laughs> yeah, still. Realistically, I think they're just, like, hiding some of them. I think that maybe the ones that are, like, hidden will give you better items. I've, I haven't really, like, checked it 100%. It's really more just to make your life easier. Yeah, exactly. Anyways, welcome to the, uh, t the torture room, which is being immaculately kept up, I will say. Like, compared to the, the block we were just in. Oh, yeah, this is, like rustic this is like mm. kind of I, I feel like this is like their big like showpiece thing like oh this has been here for 300 years yeah Aren't all the rooms in this place torture rooms <laughs> i guess yeah. in a way but this one's like got all the tools in it it's sort of like middle ages chic you know mm -hmm. well That's i mean true. it's like uh, don't you live in all the rooms in your house not just the living room <laughs> I guess so. This is just the escape room that the facility gets. Like, that's the one that a lot of the five-star reviews really start pointing out. It's one oh, of the yeah, newer yeah. additions. We've also gained the final strike in our critical strike meter. So now we can do three of them at once. Which, if enemies are strong enough, we'll just kill them three times instead of once. I like when the guys die and they try to do one last push-up before they die. Yeah, it's good. Well, if you do the extra push-up, you look that much better in the eyes of the Lord, so... Mm -hmm. Man, this place has a gas leak now. Tragic. Like, this place used to be something. <sighs> yeah. In particular, the, the, especially, like, the VX pipes. <laughs> yeah, like... Man, 30 years ago, like, they were proud of those VX pipes, and look at them now. Mm-hmm. When my dad founded Torture Prison. <laughs> <laughs> and you just see the managers, like, they're, they're just not the same quality anymore. This one, like, tried to uh, tried to kidnap, like, an entire fucking satellite. Like, we didn't get these controversies before. When the facility I, got acquired by Interrogation Corp, nothing was ever the same. <laughs> I'm yeah. sorry, but amp uh, it referred to it as ample evidence for torture. <laughs> I feel like evidence of torture is not something you find ample of. Something you find ample of is a basket of apples. That has an ample <laughs> amount of apples in it. Well, no, there's just a lot of torture here. There, There's a bowl with an ample amount of teeth in it. Hey, <laughs> I mean, it just goes to show you that despite the facilities being down, employee motivation is still big. Oh yeah. my god. That's like, that's one of the most influencer things I can think of. Being in a torture prison, being like, did you see my video? <laughs> Yeah, Lucas Hayes is cool. He's really ahead of his time. 
Both as an influencer and as like a, I guess like a domestic terrorist. You gotta bust my ass out of here. If I die, you won't get your precious information. And also likely someone who is going to make an apology video in about six months. Oh yeah. I love the idea that his his neck is somehow softer than just like a tie. <laughs> like Nita could have killed him with that. A polity video for breaking out of torture prison. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry I didn't finish out my sentence like everyone else. Anyways, we can't break him out without Enrique's fingerprint, so I guess we gotta go find him. I mean, to be fair, like, he's not even, like, the top ten worst, like, things a YouTuber has done. Yeah, he's not even America's most wanted. He's not in the top ten. Anyways, like everything here, it's just slightly different. So, like, the weapons caches, right? The, the caches, they're, they're different now, too. Instead of, you know, whatever we were doing before, there's much more, like, South American designs that they've put in, and they're much bigger, as you can see. Now we need to play Q-Bird to open them. <laughs> Aw, oh, man, that'd be cool. But everybody just knows, like, this is the only way you really should lock up your stuff. Yeah, this is the only secure way. You just can't trust bike locks anymore. Like, the lock-picking lawyer is like, no, you have to go with this. <laughs> I hear this is actually what they're installing in homes these days, is you have to solve a 15 puzzle. Mm -hmm. And then you can to get the grenade, grenade launcher. launcher. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, you know how, like, some people keep keys under their, like, doormats in case they need to get in? Mm -hmm. <laughs> they just keep a grenade launcher here. They keep adding them to the rent uh, to the laundry rooms in the new, like, tenements, but they always go for the, uh, like, the three-tile one, and it's super easy, and it's, it, they, it might as well just not be there. Yeah, again, another star off on the Yelp review for that one. I need to feel like I'm actually secure when I'm dealing with the grenade launcher that they've placed in the laundry room. <laughs> I'm just so fucking pissed at my landlord. I went to, like, go get my, like, bazooka, and you uh -huh. know what it was there? They had a tic-tac-toe guarding it. Ugh. So you've just never opened it. You've always tied. Oh, yeah. That's kind of always the the fear is something breaks, like one of these things breaks and you have to call the landlord. He comes in and replaces it with like the sliding puzzle one. Right. So it seems like Prisoner A, the British one, has found a way out. And now this is the real environmental storytelling. <laughs> what could this be? <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's the UK flag. Yeah, and it's also our way out of prison. And Nina Williams hates art. True. I don't think I would have thought to beat the shit out of that. <laughs> I, I mean, I was mostly expecting you to just jump down a hole. 